hello and welcome to this buy bot pro video so in this video this is kind of going to be a getting started video and i'm going to talk you through some of the key features within buy bot pro so first of all you once you're all set up the first thing you want to do is input your buy price into buy bot pro and click analyze and this is the point that i'm at now and i'm just going to talk you through some of the key features so first of all i want to draw your attention to this dashboard and alert section here i'll just zoom in so the first thing you'll notice is the colors and obviously that question at the top here can I sell this and in this case it's green and it says yes so your eligibility to sell a product is really really important it's one of those things that you will kind of learn to look at first because obviously if you're not eligible to sell a product there is no point looking through at the rest of the information but there is one way that Bible Pro has got your back in this section so as I said this one is green and it says you know I'm eligible but you might have a red circle and it might say auto and gate now by clicking the auto and gate button Bible Pro will kind of submit your details and you might straight away get a little pop-up that says success you've been ungated and you're able to sell that product if not then Bible Pro will take you through to Amazon and it will take you through to start that process of submitting the documents that you need to submit to Amazon in order to get ungated so Bible Pro is making that process really really simple and easy for you the next thing I want to talk about is the IP radar, which shows in the alert section. You'll know you'll notice all of these fit with like a traffic light system. So green is obviously good. Amber means often there's a bit more research needed and red is kind of a no-go. So in the case of the IP radar, the where this information comes from is get unsuspended so get unsuspended is a sister company to bible pro they are often the first to hear about any brands protecting their ip rights and then as soon as they receive any of that information that is fed into the ip radar in bible pro so green basically means that there are no known ip issues amber means there may be some issues this needs a little bit more research. You need to kind of look into it a bit more, do some due diligence, see if you can find out any more information. And red means that there are known IP issues. So that brand is known to protect that IP, IP rights and therefore the IP radar is kind of warning you off it essentially. Then the next one down is the buy box analysis. So this basically shows you at a glance whether Amazon will share the buy box on that product. You'll see this is green, which obviously means that there's a good chance that they share that. As always with um, buy box Pro, if you hover over anything, you'll get what we call a tool tip, which will come up and it will give you an explanation of kind of what that term means or what that feature does. And as this one says here, the buy box analysis feature will help you see at a glance whether Amazon will share that buy box. Coming down to the detail section, this is what I call kind of a number section. In here, there are kind of two or three bits that I'll just pick out to talk to you about. Often it all comes down to when you're making a decision, the ROI and the profit, which are towards the bottom here. So ROI is your return on investment that will show as a percentage. And then you've got your profit as well, which is shown in a currency figure. So in this case, it's pounds, but you might look at you might be seeing dollars or you might be seeing euros, depending on where you are. So of course, you're going to be looking at those. You want to know whether you're going to get a return on your investment and whether you're going to be making a profit. But the other thing that it does point out is the break even. Now, break even is a price is the price that you can sell the product at without making a loss, but also not making a profit as well. So Bible Pro will take into account any fees that you've input, etc., which basically means that it's really, really accurate. You can have it all worked out for you and you don't have to worry about, oh, but then there's a cost for this and there's a cost for this. You know that Bible Pro has taken that all into account. And if you hover over the total costs, Bible Pro will give you a breakdown as well. So you can see where those costs are really coming from. So next, I want to come down and talk to you about the estimated sales calculator, which you'll see here. So on the left, you have the previous 90 day average sales. And then you'll see on the right hand side here, you have the predicted 90 day average sales. So Bible Pro has some amazing and clever inbuilt algorithms that allow it to predict those sales for the next 90 days, which is obviously really important. And then if you hover over the middle, you'll see here you've got a monthly sales breakdown for the last 12 months if the last 12 months is available. Coming on next, I want to talk about the VA toolbox. So if I just scroll down a little bit, you'll see here there is a box that says VA toolbox. If you click on VA manager login, it will open up a new tab for you. Now, if you as the manager are going to be managing VAs, you will set up a separate login for the VA toolbox, which obviously needs to be different to your Bible Pro login so that only you can access this. Now, this is an amazing feature within Bible Pro. It is basically virtual assistant management software built into Bible 
Apple Pro at no extra cost. It's all included in your standard subscription cost. And you'll see here examples of the information that this can give you. So you can see the deals that your VAs have submitted and it's broken up into which VA and then you've got a total as well. And you can also see the work time. So you can see your total work time, total work time split into VAs. And then you've got information about your latest deals as well. The virtual assistant toolbox even takes screenshots when your VAs are working so you can check that they're on task and all of these can be broken down into more information using the menu options at the top here. It's so, so useful and as I said, it's amazing to have that included in your Bible Pro subscription. So back to the main Bible Pro, you've also then got the manual sourcing accelerator. So if you click on this button here, it will open up a video which will tell you a lot more about the manual sourcing accelerator. But the manual sourcing accelerator is basically so that when you're on a retailer or a wholesaler website and you're looking at products, you can analyze those deals and products right there. So let's say, for example, I'm in the UK, so I'm on the Argos website. All you need to do to bring up the manual sourcing accelerator is highlight the name of the product and do a right mouse and you'll see that Bible Pro has appeared here. So I'm going to click on that and then the manual sourcing accelerator will open on the right hand side and it will list all of these products so that you can find the one that you're looking at and then you can go and analyze it in further detail. You can switch between marketplaces by using these flags at the top here. It's defaulted to .co.uk because that's what I've got set as my default marketplace in my settings but of course you can change that. This basically then allows you to once you've found a product so let's say I'm going to go for this one I can click here or I can click on Bible Pro and you've basically then got Bible Pro on the retailer website right here. You can input your buy price and you can click analyze and it's exactly the same as using Bible Pro on your Amazon product page, but it basically means that your process is more streamlined. You don't have to be going backwards and forwards and you can analyze the product straight from the retailer web page, as I said before. So back to the main Bible Pro panel, you have then got your Bible Pro charts. So I'll just give you a really quick run through of these. These are kind of one of the most loved features of Bible Pro. So you'll see this first chart here tells you all of this amazing information. So you've got your FBA price, you've got the Amazon price, the lowest new price, FBM price, you've got your bestseller rank, your BSR, and you've also got the buy box price as well. Underneath you then got your sales heat map, which is this one here, which is mainly red and orange, and you can toggle that on and off here. The reason these have toggles is because there might be certain pieces of information that you want to look at on their own. You might want to compare just two or three things, and it means you can turn the information on and off depending on what you want to see. We're all about making the process easier for you. Everyone reads kind of things in different ways. Some people might want to see all of the information at once, or you might want to pick out certain pieces. So those toggles enable you to do that. Along the bottom here, you've also got your duration. So this is the time period that the chart will show. You can see you can go from seven days to 30 to 90 to 180 to 365 and then all time as well. If you want to zoom in, as, as you can see here, you can hover over and it will give you that information at any point in time. But if you want to select a certain time frame, just drag across and then let go and it will zoom in on that, that period that you want to look at in more detail. And then all you need to do is click reset zoom and it will take it back to the beginning. So this one underneath that I mentioned earlier, the sales heat map, this is basically like a temperature chart. When you look at a weather forecast and the map is kind of, you know, red, orange, yellow, depending on the temperature, this is exactly what that is. And you can basically see, you know, the hotter the product, the faster it's selling. It's a really, really good visual tool at a glance to give you straight away an indication of how well that product sells, if it sells better at certain periods of time or if it's an all round good seller. Underneath you then got your offer and reviews. So again, you can see the information down the right hand side of what this chart shows you and you're able to toggle that information on and off as well. So you've got the new offer count, you've got the review count and you've got your rating as well. They've then got your BSR chart. So this is your main BSR and also any subcategory BSRs as well, because when you're looking at BSR in the main Bible Pro panel here, it will always be the main category. But this gives you the subcategories as well as the main the main category. You've then got your buy box statistics underneath. So this is kind of your buy box analysis, but in a lot more information. So you can see exactly who's had a share of that buy box, what percentage they've won of that buy box, whether they're an FBA seller, their rating and their review count, when they last won it in terms of the date and the time, and also how long ago that was as well. And once again, you've got your duration across the top, so you can look at different time periods. 
Coming down, you then got your bar chart. So these bar, chart, bar charts are basically the information that is in the top chart here, but it's just another way of viewing them. As I mentioned before, everyone works differently and likes to look at information in different ways. So this just picks out that information in a bar chart. And then you've also got the same in a table underneath as well, which is really, really amazing. You can toggle these on and off in the settings as well, depending on whether you do or you don't want to see them. You've then got your seller position chart. So this basically shows you the top 10 seller positions, their stock level and their price as well. And you'll see as I hover over, it's giving you that information. It's kind of like a competition analysis, but in a chart. Again, everyone looks at information different ways. So this is a really good visual representation of those top 10 seller positions. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is the Google Sheets export. So you may be analyzing products using Bybot Pro and then you might want to, to make what we call a buy sheet. So let's say I've analyzed a product, I found a good deal and it's a product that I'm going to go ahead with and I want to move it across to my buy sheet. So here I have a Google Sheet. You will set up all of your headings in here and then all you need to do is copy the URL of that Google Sheet Go back to Bybot Pro and click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner here and scroll down to where you can see Google Sheets ID and then paste the URL of that Google Sheet in here. Don't forget to come down to the bottom and click save and sync so that Bybot Pro can input those changes. And then, like I said, once you've decided you want to go ahead with the product, all you need to do is come down to where you've got your export data and you'll see it says Google Sheet here. All you then need to do is click this button here, copy to my buy sheet. You can see it says copy to your sheet here. So let's go across and you can see now that I've got another line of product that's appeared. As I said, you will already have put all of your headings in here. But this is an amazing way to get all of that key information out of Bible Pro and into a sheet for you. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is your VAT settings. So one of the first things you will do when you get set up with Bible Pro is input your VAT settings. So if you click on the settings cog here, you'll see the basic settings section. So after your preferred marketplace, you then have your tax and VAT settings section. So Bybot Pro is completely VAT compliant. It means that you can put in your VAT status when you get started and then Bybot Pro will take that into account when it's analyzing so that you know that kind of the right status is input and the right VAT or not VAT is going to be taken into account depending on your, on your status. So you've got not applicable, which is for US and Canadian sellers, and then you've got non-VAT registered standard accounting and your flat rate scheme as well. Now, another thing I want to touch on is Bybot Go, which is the mobile app of Bybot Pro. Now, this is completely free and again, included in your Bybot Pro subscription. And it means that if you're doing retail arbitrage as well as online arbitrage, or maybe you do retail arbitrage as a whole on its own, you can use Bybot Go, scan products when you're out and about, and you have access to the amazing analysis of Bybot Pro on the go on your mobile, wherever you are. And the last thing I want to touch on is the multiple marketplaces that you can use Bybot Pro for. So obviously I'm in the UK, so I've had my default marketplace set to the UK, but you have also got the US marketplace as well as multiple um, EU marketplaces and also the Canadian marketplace as well. Definitely check out our other training videos if you are new to Bybot Pro or our other YouTube videos if you'd like some more information and more detail about all of the features within Bybot Pro. Any questions, just drop an email to info at pybotpro.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.